And moments ago, the national anthem and the mental preparation for the game ahead. Live from Charlotte, North Carolina, 2K Sports proudly brings you the Bobcats at the Time Warner Cable Arena. Now a chance to check out our starting lineups. Last game for the Bobcats, they picked up a W against the Golden State Warriors. And guys, it could have gone either way. It should have. Gordon with it. Now guarded by Henderson. Here's Holiday. The feather touch on the finger roll. Beautiful. On defense, Charlotte. Doris Burke has an update for us. Doris? Well, Kevin, I had a chance to talk with head coach. Minu kicks to Gordon. Just five on the clock. And the layup falls. Backing down is Jefferson. And the layup's good off the glass. He presents a defender with... It's rebounded by Charlotte, getting their first look of the season at this Pelicans team. They lost both games they played against this team last year, which tells me is that the blocks per game, it just shows how well coached they were defensively. Great rotations, they closed out, and they forced their either of them. Henderson passes to Kid Gilchrist, feeds to Henderson, and the shot is good. Henderson Gordon. Henderson pulls it in. Henderson's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. He's going to play his way right onto the bench and out of the game. Then loaded Davis. Kicks it out to Gordon. Just four to shoot. New Orleans needs to get off a shot. He muscles it in through the contact and they call the bench. He has seven. Henderson off the bench from Tolliver. On the wing. Jump shot is good that time. Good game for him in the win against Brooklyn. Morrill gets to Holiday. New Orleans moving the ball around. And here's Anderson from the arc. The basket good off the assist from Evans. Here's Neal, defended by Morrill. Here's McRoberts. Sinks the 15-footer. Evans off the pick from Anderson. Evans goes in. Goes off the pick and hammers it home. Well, that's a solidly executed pick play. I mean, it pays. Boy, the defense just backing off, begging him to take that shot. Here's Moore. He nails it, and we're tied up. Boy, they... Rignard gets a screen from Diablo. Off the pick. And there's the second time to finish it off. And Roberts kicks to Anderson. Plays it up and banks it in. Area. And when they were on top of their game, they were very physical. And they fronted the post a lot, forced some difficult shots at the rim. And due to their length and their size, they were able to block a lot of shots down there. How about that fantastic? It's the Cavaliers. And that game closes out the four-game homestand for them. I'll tell you what, guys, I'm really looking forward to seeing how that Cleveland game turns out. Back to Evans. And he uses the glass on the way. Going in the paint, battling the glass. Charlotte shooting reasonably well, 45%. And he converts the layup. Douglas Roberts has got his first basket of the night. And it's the Bobcats taking it the other way. Here's Neal. And they're going to pass the bucket and send him to the line. Davis setting the pick for Gordon. Shot off the pick. Second chance shot. In deep, Davis drops it in. Four. Here's Walker. Let's it go from the baseline and nails it. That's the Gordon. Feeds it to Davis. Smooth as silk on the finger roll. Which kicks to Gordon. Roberts. Back to Gordon. Lock at six. The basket drops and he gets fouled on the shot. Just back to Walker. Kicks it to Henderson. That falls. Nice feed that time from Walker. Kid Gilchrist gets a screen from Tolliver. Henderson defended by Gordon. A baseline J. And good as it just snugs right down through the net. Kid Gilchrist on the wing. Kid Gilchrist gets a screen from Tolliver. Henderson with it. Al Peru Camino covering. That's good for New Orleans. Well contested shot, and they did an excellent job of not fouling the shooter. Defense is about effort and commitment. Break off, guys. Yep, right to the rack. 
Walker goes in. Again, the Bobcats score. He's done a nice job of grabbing. You know, when you have a season that the Bobcats had last year, it's easy to look at a number of low points, but perhaps... Walker gets a screen from Tolliver, and Walker kicks to Tolliver. It's stolen by Aminu. Goes up, and he gets off the fast break with a monster slam. Boy, how's that for a quick possession? Yeah, it should be. They're knocking down the open shots and really getting a nice flow to their game. And he hits it and gets hacked on the play of quarter. Walker gets a screen from beyond, and he's going up for the alley-oop. No hesitation at all on that alley-oop. Saw his teammate with the pass to the hoop, and bang! They're making him pay for fouling him right now. Henderson off the pick from Jefferson. Throws up off the pick. That's basketball 101, guys. I mean, elementary. Use the screen to free yourself from him. Outside Holiday. Outside Davis. It's good. The assist that time from Holiday. Fourth third quarter action getting rolling right now. Brought to you by Gatorade. All fueled up and ready to go. Here's who's on the floor. Setting the floor now for the Pelicans. Anthony Davis is out there with Aminu. It's back iron. They've clearly been the better team on the glass. It is. Wow. Oh, look at that athletic play. A little over a minute gone here in the second half. That's a two from Gordon, and good. We got the English that time as it falls. Ooh, I like that he was more aggressive using his size and getting to the rim, increased his free throw attempt. He's got to learn to continue to minimize those turnovers. And... Davis setting the pick for Holiday. He lobs it up, and it's slammed in by Davis. Phenomenal alley-oop slam right there, guys. There to come through. Walker the pass to Kid Gilchrist. Dishes it to Henderson. Second shot opportunity. Tolliver kicks to Walker. On deep. The long distance through is good. Passes to Holiday. Six on the shot clock. Back to Gordon. It's good. The assist that time from Holiday. And only 11 road wins for them as they went 11 and 30 on the season. Well, the trouble with New Orleans last year was that they really didn't have time to win at home, much less win it on the road. And it's sent back by Ridenauer. Gives him the lead pass. Well, as far as the defense goes, but that is not what's going to keep you guys. I sense a, a little bit of a momentum shift here. And Douglas Roberts picks to Nick Roberts. Boy, I love it. Active hands on the steel. Evans dishes to Holiday. Anderson outside. Lets it go with the three. It's good. The assist that time from Holiday. Why put yourself off balance on that shot when you're wide open? The kick out to Anderson. Good on the triple. Anderson's got eight points here in this quarter. Thing is, they haven't allowed many second chance opportunities. And that is always going to allow you to maintain your lead. It's good and a true contact on the shot. So. And New Orleans pushing it up now. Oh, and there's the one-handed jam. Oh. To the inside. Zeller throws down the alley oop slam. Maybe that'll ignite. It's impossible not. Anderson outside. Pass to a Jensen. And he dunks it down. Excellent work on the offense. And Steve and Clark and I are refreshed and ready to go here as well. We've got Anthony Tolliver. Margo's out there with Gary Neal. Then there's Michael Kidd Gilchrist. And it's Biombo at the five down low. So that's the lineup for Charlotte. Feeds it to Holiday. To the middle. Miller. Yes, and it's Holiday with the assist that time. By Holiday. Off they go on a three-on-one break. And Miller throws it down home. Well, they played terrific basketball at both ends, and that's why this lead is totally out of control. Really, I'm really working it inside. Yeah, taking advantage of the defense, really pounding it down low. From deep, Neal. That is good. And a lot more triples. Gordon with it. Now guarded by Neal. The drive by Gordon. And that one's good. Gordon's got 10 points in just the second half. Clearly, he's shaken off that cold shooting performance of the first half. 
Walker gets a screen from Biombo. Just under two and a half minutes gone here in the final quarter. And here's Neal outside. That falls. Nice feed that time from Walker. Now here's Walker. Defended by Steensma. And Kid Gilchrist gets to Tolliver. Here's Biombo. Neal. The lead pass was put in just the right spot. Outside, Walker. They set the screen. Right side, Kid Gilchrist. And again, Charlotte with the triple. Boy, they've gone on this right movement, great spacing, and they're really lining them up defensively. And Davis backs down from 11 feet away, gets it to go. Davis is... And two of those wins came against the Timberwolves, so how about that? One win against the rest of the Western Conference. That's a shocking number, but it just shows you how much work the Bobcats have ahead of them. Well, before they're able to really put together a good team last season, and that's just not going to cut it. They just had a difficult time scoring points. Just not enough talent on the roster. Holiday gets the bucket. It's in for Gary Neal. And McRoberts kicks to Walker. To end the drought. Good on the jump shot. It hasn't happened as quickly. Oh, Clark, and, and I really didn't know you knew this much about birds, but the prime pelican is indeed the state bird of Louisiana. The numbers have rebounded dramatically after being hard hit by the Gulf spill. So a representation of the... Right open like that, he'll rarely miss those. Anderson with it, and it's Gordon picking him up. Anderson passes a kid, Gilchrist. Terrific assist, a nice finish. Solid play all around. He kicks it to Henderson. Tolliver. Charlotte moving it around. And again, Charlotte with the triple. 0 5 left in the fourth quarter. Henderson off the bit from Tolliver. And that one's good by Henderson. Gordon goes in. Davis. Up and in on the way up. This is going to be an ability to contest shots and force misses. Steve, that's exactly right. Even when you get in close, it's still a tough shot. Buck separated by less than six seconds. D2 from Tolliver. And there's another one for the Bobcats. So we see the Pelicans taking the W here. You know, Clark, every team has a bad night. And these guys might want to watch the tape of this game the next time they have a bad night to remind themselves how dominant they can be.